Hey guys, this video is for Unit 3. We're talking about elements, compounds, and mixtures to start with. This is going to be the first of three parts of a video that covers everything in your notes from week one. So we're starting with elements, compounds, and mixtures. We're trying to decide the differences between them and what each of them actually represents. So to start off with, we're going to start with elements. An element is the purest form of a substance. We're going to write purest form of a substance. And when we say purest, when we talk about purity, what we're actually saying is that there is only one type of atom. So for example, one element that you probably know about would be oxygen. So if I had a bunch of atoms of oxygen all together, these are all oxygen, that would be one example of an element. A second example would be something like hydrogen. So if I had a bunch of atoms of hydrogen, that would be another example of an element. So when I'm looking at just the element, all I'm seeing is the same type of atom together. Okay? So we're going to write down some examples underneath. We said that oxygen was one of our examples. Hydrogen is another example. Things like gold, silver, chlorine. And what these all have in common is that they're all found on the periodic table. So anything from the periodic table is an example of an element. Go ahead and write that down. What we're going to hit next are compounds. So compounds are two or more elements that are bonded together. So two or more elements bonded together. So if we go back to my hydrogen oxygen, one compound that might be familiar to you has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom all held together by chemical bonds. So two H's and one O makes that compound H2O or water. So I've got two or more elements bonded together. The other thing that I can have when I have a compound is I can have two of the same atom bonded together. So if I just had two hydrogens held together by a bond, that would be another example of a compound, H2. Okay? So some examples of compounds would be things like water, Salt is another example of a compound. So salt is sodium and chlorine bonded together, NaCl. Last up, we've got mixtures. So a mixture is two or more elements or compounds mixed together, it's in the name, they're mixed together, but what makes them different from compounds is that they are not bonded. So I've got two or more elements or compounds mixed together, but not bonded. So if I had some hydrogen and some oxygen, but this time they weren't bonded together, 
that would be a mixture rather than a compound. Another example that I could have, if I had my water molecule, and then I had another compound, let's say this time I have salt, Na, Cl, and those are bonded together. Those are two compounds, and there are bonds inside of the compounds, but they're not bonded to each other. So in this case, I have a mixture of two compounds rather than a mixture of two elements. So some examples of compounds would be things like salt water, a mixture of salt and water. Another one is air. So the air you breathe every day is a mixture of different elements. It's got oxygen, nitrogen, argon, all floating around, but they're not bonded together. So that would be a mixture rather than a compound. So for part two, we're going to talk about using the periodic table, and that's going to start in just a minute.